Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and in today's video we are going to create this really amazing scaling text reveal animation in After Effects. So this is very easy to create. And before I begin, if you guys are new here, then please consider subscribing and make sure to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this. So without wasting any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. So let's call this main width and height 19 20 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps and duration whatever you want just click on ok now we are going to add our text so just select the text tool and you can click wherever you want and after that you can type your text so this technique works with any text so you can write whatever you want and once you have written your text you can just simply select this and align it into the center of this comp and if you are not able to see this align panel then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it. Now let's move its anchor point into the center so you can select the text layer and hold down the control key or command on Mac then just simply double click on this pan anchor tool and it will make the anchor point in the center. So now we are going to select this let's press S and I'm going to quickly scale this to something like 200 like this or maybe let's scale this down to something like 180 yeah this is good. So now this is our base text layer and we are going to duplicate it by pressing Ctrl T and we are going to type here the last character of this word so which is N so just simply type N and again just simply select the bottom layer and press Ctrl D and on this one we are going to type all the other characters except the last one so we are just simply going to delete the N from the ending so we have this word without the last character. Now I'm going to quickly apply fill effect to this so that you can see what we are doing here. So let me just quickly apply fill over here and let me just copy this and paste it on the end as well. So now you can see we have all the layers and first we are going to animate the end over here. So let me just quickly hide all of these layers and let's focus on this only. So we can probably zoom in and I'm going to animate it scale. So let's add a keyframe on scale by pressing S. And after that, let's move this to somewhere around here. And I'm going to change the scale to zero at the beginning. And let's move to one second. And I'm going to scale this up quite a bit, something like this. And let's go to somewhere around 20 frames. And I'm going to place this keyframe over here so that our text appears and then it goes back. Perfect. So now we are going to enable our motion layer because we want our end to go back to the original place where it was. So we are going to select the layer, press P and add keyframe over here as well. Then press U to see all the keyframes and I'm going to quickly move to the end. And over here I'm going to just simply move the end to the last position. Just like this. You can zoom in properly and just do it precisely something like this so this is our final position and now if I play back here you can see that we have created this sort of animation and we can also add some rotation to this so let me just select this press R for rotation and let's add a keyframe let's press U to reveal all the keyframe so we want this to be at zero rotation at the end so I'm going to move this keyframe over here and somewhere over here I'm going to change its rotation to something like negative 180 degree because we want this to have a complete revolution something like this and over here I'm going to set the keyframe to something like negative 90 alright so now we have this sort of animation and we are going to add some easing to this so let me just quickly select all the keyframes then you can press F9 to easy ease them then let's go to the graph editor and if your graph looks different then make sure you are in the edit speed graph not the value graph and we are going to first tweak the starting parameters so I'm going to select this and let's do it something like this so that our text comes in and let's probably do the scale first so our text comes in and after that it goes back to its normal position now let's select these endpoints and I'm going to change the graph to look something like this so if I play back here you can see that we have this sort of animation and let me just quickly tweak this a little bit more so now let's select the position keyframes and do the same thing with these as well so just make them look something like this 
now let's change the rotation keyframes so let's select these and let's change these to look something like this so i'm going to make the graph to go like this so there you go now you will notice one thing that we have this point where our text completely stops so we don't want this and we can fix that by simply doing a very nice trick so all you have to do is just simply select the keyframes and we can just simply right click and go under keyframe velocity and from here check this option continuous and just click on ok now what you can do is you can just simply select these keyframes and you can just lift them up a little bit something like this so now your text won't stop and it will do a continuous motion something like this there you go now we have our text animation and we can probably play around with the other parameters so for example you can increase the scale a little bit more over here so that it completely fits the screen just like this so now we are done with this letter animation and now let's animate our rest of the text so again let's enable this layer and i'm going to press p for position and i want this to be at this position where our text is completely over here just like this now we can probably disable the bottom layer and let's move this like a couple of frames ahead and now you have to find a point somewhere around here where we can just simply select our text and move it to this direction and we have this sort of animation now we can probably select these keyframes press f9 and let's change the graph to look something like this and just select these endpoint just like this now we don't want our text to be visible in the beginning so we can just simply trim this layer and we can also add a little bit of opacity so let's press t and add a keyframe for opacity and in the beginning let's set this to zero so we have this sort of movement just like this and if you're able to see your text over here as well then you can just simply trim this or move the text a little bit ahead just like this there you go so now we have this animation you can probably disable our colors and let's change this to white and one last thing that you can do is you can enable the motion blur so just simply click on these icons and it will enable the motion blur and make sure that this option is also checked so that the motion blur will be enabled for the comp so over here we have this animation now let's preview this so there you go now we have created this really amazing text reveal animation so again in the same way you can animate any text all you have to do is just simply take out the last character and just animate its scale rotation and position and then just simply place it to its original location and after that just do the animation for the rest of the text just like this so there you go and this way you can create these kind of animation so i hope you learned something from this video and if you have any queries or question then you can ask in the comments below also if you want to support this channel then you can support me on patreon link for that will be in the description below so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one